Skyming here and welcome back to another Speed Paint! Today we are going to be talking about death. Something that's inevitable. I don't like thinking about death all too often because there's so much uncertainty about death, but hey, here we are. Thinking about death and how I'm going to die makes me afraid for this life and everyone else's, especially since World War 3 is around the corner, so... Yeah, fun times. I may believe in the afterlife, but that's why it's called faith. Because I don't know if it actually exists, and if the afterlife does exist, I'm either going to get a lot of praise, or I'm just gonna go straight to hell because I'm a supportive person, and I'm support people, and I will love you, and don't you dare deny my love! There are two times that I remember cheating death, or avoiding getting seriously injured, and at the time I didn't truly know. But now when I think back on it, I'm like, I almost died! I almost died and I'm not okay with this. I should write a song about that. So, the first time I remember avoiding something tragic happening to me was when I was young, around 5 to 7. I was not entirely sure because a lot happened when I was young and so I don't remember the age. My house was really freaking big. It wasn't as big as a mansion or anything, but for most houses it was pretty freaking big. So everyone in my family were just scattered around doing their own things, watching TV, playing with toys, going outside, like a normal child. What was I doing? I was sitting at a small white hexagon table just drawn. Being my little artistic little self. That small table was where I used to do a bunch of schoolwork and just hang out with my family. And all the fun times happened. So there I am sitting at this small hexagon table Drawing some Tamagotchi because I believe that's what I was into back then. I'm just minding my own business. Being fabulous. Then something happened. I don't know what exactly. I remember something happening. I don't know if I saw something, heard something, or what. But all of a sudden, I just, I just, I was freaking out. It felt like the emptiness of that room formed a monster and was leaning over my head behind me. That's the only way I could describe it. Like, I was freaking out, but I didn't know why, or what, or who, or when. So, I obviously stopped drawing and was looking around, and I just, I couldn't, I couldn't breathe. I felt like I was having a panic attack and I don't even know why. It was really weird. So, obviously, I looked around and nothing was wrong nothing was happening everything seemed to be fine but i was just i was just uneasy so i called out and i was just like hello oh, no answer of course what was i expecting the ghost of christmas boss to jump scare me like and be like i'm going to kidnap your spirit and go on a magical freaky adventure because reasons i was just completely noping out of the situation just like mm -hmm. I remember crawling under the table and just sitting there, completely by myself, completely alone, like a freaking idiot, because I should have probably left, and this entire situation would have just disappeared with the wind. So I'm sitting on this table, just minding my own business, and just freaking out, and all of a sudden, I heard this creak, and I started freaking out even more, just like, what the hell is that? I just, I was just, I was freaking out, I was sitting there, and I didn't know what to think. I was just, I was just really scared, and I, and I didn't do anything like an idiot! Like, you probably should have done something, you stupid f***ing child. So, then there was silence. Nothing was happening. The creek was gone. Everything was just quiet. Then, <laughs> was a humongous crash and my table started flying out from off, over top of me and I was like bolting underneath the table. It looked like my freaking living room had exploded. Like I had no idea what was going on and it was just like <laughs> So once everything had cleared up I had looked behind me and part of our roof was just sitting there. The part of the roof crashed right where I was sitting. 
We had a white ant problem in that house for literally years, but that was the first time I ever experienced our house literally falling apart. Of course, once everyone heard that crash, everyone came into the living room and was like, what the hell just happened? Joya, what did you do? And I was, I was, I was shook. I was shook as all hell. So this didn't affect me badly, like in some cases where this could literally scare you for life. But it does explain why sometimes we can hear noises that can't be explained. Some people can just ignore them, but when I hear noises that can't be answered by my own intelligence, because I'm a smart cookie, obviously, or can't be explained by someone else, I freak out a little bit. I'm just like, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? It explains it a little bit. And it makes sense. So, yeah. That's my story about how I almost died. This is just part one, by the way. There's the second part. So that's going to be so much fun to do. So, if you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And I will see you in the next meme when I finally get it done. Bye-bye!